Jogger for a couple of years now. Um, I have the previous PMP software installed on it as well as the BBC app. And today I've just installed the new PMP Mark II. Really impressed with it. Um, had a bit of a problem getting it going because my USB stick wasn't playing nicely, but now that it's, it's in there, I'm really impressed. Just wanted to give you a quick look at what you get with it. So this is the screensaver. Um, much nicer clock than the one that came, came with it before. Very modern, very stylish, got the date on there too. When we go to the home screen, these are some of the apps you get. I'll just tip that up so you can see. Just go through quickly. First of all, we've got internet. This is um, Opera Mobile web browser. No flash, the jogger can't handle flash on, on internet, on browsers, so you can't get flash content, but there's various things on there. You can add your own um, websites on there so that you can get easy access to them. Very good if you do a lot of cooking and you like the BBC Good Food site because you can have your recipes um, on your jogger in the kitchen. Just going to exit from that. Next along we've got radio. This is actually the, the lounge um, radio app that came with the original um, uh, O2 operating system, but it's been cleaned up a lot. So instead of having um, every single version of Heart from all over the country, um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. We've just got a couple now. Plenty of stations on there though, got good mix of music, and you've got the BBC stations as well. Go back. Next thing is Squeeze Play. Squeeze Play is a lot easier to set up. Um, than it used to be on the old PMP. You, it just all comes in one package, so you don't have to mess around with um, installing servers or anything. Really easy. BBC iPlayer, iPlayer Extras, um, Internet Radio, and then in my apps you can add all sorts of other things. So I've got um, Spotify, which will connect with my own personal Spotify account. I'll play my music on there. Um, sorry, I meant to say on squeeze play, um, there's all sorts of other things you can add as well. So you can add um, podcast apps, um, I've got, there's a Facebook thing you can add in here, Flickr, I'm not sure if it's connected at the minute, yes it is. So you can put a display of your own Flickr photos on there. My, my internet's a little bit slow tonight, but uh, we'll see if I can get my photo stream loading. If it takes too long I won't bother. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That's from my, my holiday in Egypt last month. So uh, you can have your photos on there. Um, I've also got Live 365 and various other things on there. Next along we have BBC iPlayer. This gives you live streaming of all the BBC TV channels. Um, you can also access BBC radio stations down here. Um, you can call up podcasts. Um, I don't know what I'm doing now. Yeah, I've obviously started playing something. My internet connection is a little bit slow, slow at the minute, so we'll see what happens here. Come on. Yeah, that's going to be too slow there. My son's stealing all the bandwidth, I think. Um, but you can have the streaming, and you can go into iPlayer, and it will come up with. Uh, programs that have been on recently. I was hoping it would work a little bit better but as I said I think my son has stolen all the bandwidth tonight with his online gaming. Um, we've also got a nice smart YouTube app which will come up with uh, various categories of programs. You can search for anything you want. Um, then we've got Google Calendar. This is hooked up to my own Google account so it's going to show you what I've been doing today. Like I said, the internet is a little bit slow here tonight, so uh, need to bear with it a bit. Here we go. So that's my my um, schedule for today, and I'm not doing a lot tomorrow. Then we've got Sky Sports News, Sky News headlines, which was on the original O2 operating system, but they've just got nice new logos now. We've got another news feed here, which doesn't want to work at the minute. Um, set up by whoever created the um, PMP app. They've obviously put their own choice of things in here. So we have Formula One news and we have Walt Disney news. Very interesting. There's a weather thing. There's a timer. Very good if you use your juggler in the kitchen. We'll just set a three second timer there. Um, other bits and pieces. Calculators from the original OS thing. Dilbert comic strip. 
I hope will load because that's quite a, a nice little thing to look at every day. There you go, we've got a little comment strip that changes every day. And then we've got some games. We've got Angry Birds, which I personally can't stand, but I know everybody else really likes. So we can go in and uh, play that. Yeah. I can prove my ineptitude at Angry Birds now. Yeah, you can see why I don't like it very much. The tools is the old O2 tools thing. Um, we've also got some other games here. Crush the Castle, Baseball, Checkers. Um, chess, all sorts of bits and pieces, and then there's a stopwatch, there's horoscopes, there's memos, um, and other things. There's also an alarm, which is quite handy if you want to use your juggler by the bed. You can set an alarm clock to ring. Different tones you can have. But who'd want to wake up to some of these? I don't know. Possibly the best thing if you do want to use your juggler as an alarm clock is that there's now a button that will just turn the screen off. Just like that. So that's my review of the new Joggler PMP Mark II software. Really good. If you've got a Joggler, go to um, www.jogglerwiki.com slash forum and you'll see the PMP Mark II thread which has all the instructions on where to download it from and how to install it. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.